All right, good morning. I'm Ramiro Salazar, director of the San Antonio Public Library. Thank you all for being here this morning. Um, we're thrilled that we will be launching our 2013 Mayor's Summer Reading Club. Um, this year we have uh, not only the club for children and teens, we're both targeting children and teens, but we also have a component for adults because we feel it's important for everybody to read during the summer. So I wanted to announce that. As you know, the summer reading, the Mayor's Summer Reading Club is very important. It's important for our students as they get ready to go on vacation uh, that they continue to read during the summer months so that they can continue to develop their reading skills. And we're so fortunate that our mayor, Mayor Julian Castro, uh, recognizes obviously the importance of reading and has embraced uh, this program. And so we now call it the Mayor's Summer Reading Club. Again, because it's very important that students continue to read uh, uh, during the summer. Before I invite the mayor to the podium, I would like to recognize some special guests that are here with us this morning. I'll start with our board chair, Jean Brady, and she will be making some remarks later in the program. I also want to re recognize uh, uh, Roberto Aguillon, who is a member of the SAUS board, but also he is president of the Friends of the uh, Mission Libra Library. We have Tracy Bennett, president of the Library Foundation, who is one of our partners. I see Linda Arrange, who is the president of the Friends of the San Antonio Public Library. We have Barbara Gentry, a uh, Library Foundation board member, and has been very supportive of literacy throughout the community as her role when she was with the USAA Foundation. Thank you, Barbara, for being here. Uh, Charlotte Ann Lucas, now CAS, who is one of our ongoing partners and actually has a presence here in the Central Library. Uh, thank you, Charlotte. Uh, Jerry Ane Jones, representing VIA, another of our partners. Uh, Debbie de, de Goyado, representing YMCA, another of our partners. And we have uh, library board member Lin Lisa Rodriguez, who is chair of the Public Relations Committee. Thank you, Lisa, for being here. I would also like to thank, in addition to the uh, partners that I mentioned, I'd like to uh, thank HEB. We have HE Buddy here, who's uh, keeping company Libro. Libro, I saw him walking around a few minutes ago. So thank you to HEB. Uh, I want to thank the RK Group, uh, Clear Visions, um, and of course, again, the San Antonio Public Library Foundation for their ongoing support for all the things that we do, including the Mayor's Summer Reading Program. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Vicki Ash, who's our Children's Services Coordinator, to tell you a little about the children's component of the Summer Reading Club. Vicki? Thank you. Good morning to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Summer is an exciting time at the library for children. We hope for children as well as the staff because it's very exciting for us. Uh, we have two goals in mind with Summer Reading. One, we want children to read for fun. We know that during school there's a lot of assignments, people are telling you what you need to read, it might not be what you're curious about. So in the summer we hope to build enthusiasm, foster curiosity, and let people read just because they want to. But we also know that in the summer months if children don't read, that they do leave, lose uh, reading skill. And so a wonderful sidelight of all that pleasure is that they continue to develop their skills, don't lose them, and actually can, uh, can gain skill over the summer if they read enough. So, we have two versions of the Children's Summer Reading Club for listeners and for readers. So if you're not reading by yourself yet, then you can listen to 15 books and two things happen. Well, three things. One, you get to put your name up on the library bulletin board. Two, you get a certificate signed by the mayor. And three, you get to pick out a free paperback book to keep. If you're a reader and reading independently, then we ask you to read eight books and those same three things happen. You get to put your name up, get a mayor certificate, and you get to pick a free paperback book. We think that the best reward for reading is more reading. And we certainly thank all of you for your support of the summer reading effort. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Vicki. And I've uh, been asked, uh, well, I believe I mispronounced uh, Mr. Anguiano. I said Anguiano, of course, Mr. Anguiano. There you are. So I get to actually um, identify you by Mr. Aguiano, and, and also have an opportunity to give you accolades for the ongoing support that you provide to not only the Mission Library, but to the community and the mission area. So thank you, Mr. Aguiano. At this time, I'd like to invite our uh, Teen Services Coordinator, 
Jennifer Velasquez to tell you a little about the team component of the Summer Reading Club. Hi everyone, pleasure to be here. Thank you all for being here today. And I want to tell you a little bit about uh, the summer reading program that we have uh, for teenagers and we're targeting 13 to 18 year olds. We know that it's really important for teens to stay engaged and not not to be bored during the summer. So we want to invite every teenager in San Antonio to participate, whether it's in the library or online, in our Mayor's Summer Reading Club this summer. Uh, teens who are 13 to 18 can register online. They can uh, have uh, the full summer reading program experience on their mobile phone and through their Facebook account. So we're really excited about that. We want to invite all teenagers to please go on and register and see everything that's going on for them this summer. And we know that teens love to read, but we also know that teens love to hang out. And we want to let all the teens know that their public library is a great place to hang out this summer. There's an activity for them that's free every week, and there's lots of books and movies and excellent resources for them to to avail themselves this summer. So we want to thank, as always, the San Antonio Public Library Foundation and our wonderful San Antonio Public Library friends. We couldn't do this without you. And um, the prizes that are going to be uh, distributed to teens uh, as they enter our drawings are courtesy of your support. So we really thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jennifer. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce Mayor Julian Castro, who's has, who is, has been a great advocate for literacy and education uh, through his many programs and his actions. And we're very proud that he has embraced again the summer reading program and has continued to promote reading throughout the community. Mayor Castro. Thank you very much, uh, Ramiro. First, let me say a big thank you on behalf of the entire community for your fantastic work and the work of your staff. Uh, Y'all deserve a lot of the credit for the great things that happen here at the library. I also want to thank Jean Brady uh, of the library board and uh, Tracy Bennett of the foundation and all of the members of the board and the foundation uh, for being our proselytizers in chief, getting out there and <laughs> making sure that folks know about the library, they love our libraries, uh, and that more and more folks come through the turnstile uh, here at the Central Library and across the city. Uh, everybody was cheering because the Spurs won last night. That was a great win, right? Did y'all see people were downtown on Commerce Street, you know, honking their horns. They had the brooms out and the Spurs flags. And it was a time of celebration that I'm sure will be eclipsed only when they win the finals uh, in a few weeks. Uh, but that's the, the same kind of celebration that we want uh, in spirit of learning and of knowledge and particularly of reading. Uh, we have a very strong vision in our city to create a brain power community here in San Antonio and to engineer one of the greatest turnarounds in education that any big city has seen in a decade. And uh, a key part of that is more folks from the earliest ages to the oldest ages reading and enjoying it. Uh, and so I'm excited about the Summer Reading Club. I encourage uh, family members to join the Summer Reading Club no matter what age you are for your two-year-old, your three-year-old, but also your, uh, if you're 80 years old, please be a part of the Summer Reading Club. There's something for everyone uh, to have a great time to learn over the summer by reading great books. Uh, what we want in our city is that by the time a young person starts school, he or she is ready for school. They're kinder ready. On um, third grade, they're hitting their marks in third grade reading tests. More likely to graduate from high school, go on to college, and all of us know that in this day and age, uh, you never stop learning. You can't afford to stop learning. And reading is a big part of continuing to learn. Uh, so I want to thank uh, all of our sponsors, uh, HEB, Clear Vision, uh, VIA, RK. Uh, I want to thank uh, all of our uh, media members as well for spreading the word about this. Let's have a great summer reading club this year. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And last but not least, I'd like to introduce our board chair, Jean Brady. Jean is a former school librarian, and because she takes her responsibility very seriously leading the library board, she works very, very hard year-round to promote the library and its services. And certainly, uh, it, 
the breeding initiatives that we offer to the community. So it's, it's uh, my proud distinction to have Gene Brady as part of the program this, this morning. Gene. Well, the best part about my job this morning is that I get to close this program out. And I just want to thank you all for being here so much. We really appreciate your support of the Summer Reading Club. Uh, we appreciate Mary Castro for helping us. And we understand what a vital role that the library plays in literacy in San Antonio. So understand we are here to help with those problems. We are here to make reading fun, Vicki. And um, my personal challenge this morning is for the mayor. <laughs> and so I am urging him to sign up for his own reading club and read or listen to three books. And if I beat him, <laughs> Mayor, I will buy you lunch. <laughs> How about that? I saw Fred here. I believe Fred is. Yeah. Fred, didn't you do this picture? Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. This is. A, this is a little gift from us oh, to you. Oh, thank you very much. And Fred did this the picture, a, and it's daughter. a wonderful picture of him and his daughter. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And we will do this. Yes. <laughs> thank you. All. This is neat for me because I've kind of marked uh, my time in office by the announcements each year and my daughter was born two months before I took office and so she's grown each year and I have a picture from every year. Thank you Fred for the picture and thank you all. Thank you Mayor. Thank you Jean, thank you Mayor. I thank Karina and your wife Erica also for your support and participation. That concludes our program this morning. We'll be available to answer any questions. Thank you.